Welcome to part two of our K24DET build. Uh, today we're going to be assembling the bottom end. Tyson's going to be giving us a hand here at Triple S Motorsports. So, I'm going to throw in the crank today and get the uh, pistons all in. Make sure they're rotating nice and smoothly. So, here we go. <laughs> Stage one's good. Our crank is still spinning nicely. So we follow our destructions from the internet here. And we go up to 45 for the next step. Final step, 60, let's get it.
next day, time lapse. Uh, we're here, gonna put the pistons in the bottom end now. Uh, we've got our cylinder walls nice and honed. They're looking fresh. Tyson's also looking fresh. And we're stoked to get to it, so. Woo! Work the lube. For the less experienced loose fingers. But look at that. Always want to wear the oil squirter, right? Except this cylinder doesn't have it. So you want to just center the rod like on the piston, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Normally I like to put rubber boots on the studs. If you're careful, just you don't want to score the cylinder wall. Grab my trusty little hammer. I like to just seat the ring compressor first. Nice and gentle. And boom goes the dynamite. Grab the ring cap. Nice film. Always make sure you orientate your bearing properly to the rod. Squirt oil first. Not all done. Just a light squirt on the threads. Start, start. These nuts.
So we got our bottom end all slapped together. Big thanks to Tyson. Yeah. High five this week. Stay tuned for next week for part three when we slap this block onto the head and we're almost ready to go. You mean head onto the block? <laughs>